Go now to DryerBuzz.com and follow at DryerBuzz on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You are a... Hello, guys. Yolanda, once again, thanks for the replay viewers. Just coming in live with you one more time just to show you another angle of the museum. Uh, this is, we're at the top now. We, we've walked, we're getting ready to take on the last leg of this once you come through the museum, which actually seems like we went maybe two levels uh, you kind of spiral your way through and then you come out and then if you didn't see your county or you stayed in there you can come out listen look look and of course my county is right down there at the end Douglas County with one name but there are some that are there's so many names inscribed that they you just you know and I just finished a periscope and the last thing I could say is America, your soul is showing. Your soul is showing. Um, and it's just amazing what we've been asked to forgive. It is amazing what we have been asked to forgive. I'm so thankful for this. I know in my family, we make it a point to pause uh, for Juneteenth. And so to be able to have a memorial here. And of course, you know, many of you come down to Montgomery, Alabama. And why particularly Montgomery? Because you have to remember that um, when we got gained access to television America is where I mean Montgomery is where the atrocities in America went live via television and so there's a lot that happened here that the world got a chance to see and so it is just uh, I tell you so if you come down to Selma if you come down to see the Death Avenue Church no doubt this will be here uh, I can't wait to see um, come back year after year and, and just imagine I love what these are made out of because what's going to happen is is people come to touch and, and interact with it and this is going to change over time you know it's going to change over time it's absolutely beautiful i've gone live a couple times if you haven't seen it i've gone live i've taken some pictures i did a 360 inside i'm gonna do one out here but i just wanted to go live one more time and and, and not live because i'm trying to do every platform and trying to also get good video that I can have to use and trying to get good pictures and so forth and, and as the clouds go by I wanted to see what it looked like um, in the shadow what the shadows of it look like because I can I, I'm feeling that with this particular design I really want to see it see the shadows you know but as soon as you come in, and most of us, most of you will come in from this direction, you turn that corner, you're looking up at that hill, and it's like, whoa, it's right there. It's right there. America, your soul is showing. And if you need talking points, because clearly, clearly, we need some talking points on this, on this thing. Um, as you walk through, there are pillars of information. Stop and read the pillars of information. Uh, and the second portion of it, as you walk down, you kind of go through, descend under the pillars. As when you first come in, you're walking through the pillars, then you kind of descend under the pillars. As you descend under the pillars, there are particular stories. And I think I was live on one of the platforms and I almost want to sit down. I'm like, I can't sit on this. Um, as you walk under the pillars, there are the particular stories as to why someone was lynched. And, and what is stark contrast to what we assume is that these things were unknown. No, people knew the person, the date, the time, and why they went missing. And, and it didn't happen all under the cover of darkness. It happened on the courthouse steps. It happened at the schools. It happened in the churches. It happened, people were snatched here, there, and everywhere from their families, uh, lynched in front of their families. America, your soul is showing. It is amazing what we have been asked to forgive in this country. It is amazing what we have been asked to forgive, to heal, and get over in this country. And not just in this country. We want, That's one thing we got to stop doing is thinking that this was an American thing. Somebody posted, uh, same ship, different ports. We were on the same ship. We just got off in different ports. And, and by we, I mean our ancestors. People, um, when the movie Black Panther came out, everybody was posting, you know, bury me in the sea where whatever that quote was. And I'm like, no, I'm on the land where my people survived. And that's where I'm going to be. That's where I'm going to stay. What you say? Lynching was government sanctioned. And that's what it says. It's a government sanctioned. Social rules, social laws. People were lynched for disobeying social laws. 
okay so you definitely have to come down three hour drive the way i drive you know we have to stop we stopped we ate we did all kind of stuff um but go ahead and drive down come on down and i imagine they're going to be on weekends the holidays there's going to be thousands walking through here you're probably just going to sneak through in in hordes of hundreds um so you want to definitely like don't wait till the weekend don't wait till the holiday do like we did just get on the road and and come on down bring your family i'm pretty sure there's gonna be plenty of virtual tours um online i mean i just I'm, i just did some amazing videos and 360s i'm going to make available but just come through yes there's a ticket price of about five dollars um and of course you know that's museum fee um but i mean just imagine oh my god the things that we have been asked to forgive and forget <laughs> that's the that's the thing hey yate hello there um so definitely even a steady a steady um amount of people walking through finding their area everybody seems to be particular about finding theirs mine is uh douglas county right there on the end um in fact this is fulton county is right there want to go over there um this in fact guys from in to end this first row right here is georgia not to mention the the counties that are hanging in there cobb county is another cobb county right there as a matter of fact um yeah these are the same these are some of the same because john bailey well, we saw that one hanging in there cobb county is there anybody on want to want to see clayton county is there so like i said these are georgia clayton county clark county to tuga county chattahoochee county chatham county columbia county I, was, I forgot i was standing here for a reason uh fulton county let's look when i, I talked about some of the pillars that so many inscriptions on the on there they're, they're, they're so tiny fulton county Look at the look at the inscriptions from 1889 to 1936. Mac Mac Brown, Thomas Finch, Will Moreland, Sam Robinson, James Fletcher, John Wilder, Zeb Long, Sam Magruder, Frank Fambro, Clem Rose. Uh, unknown, 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 unknown. But the dates are there. William Welch, uh, Will Marion, Milton Brown, Le Leola Maddox, Frank Smith, Annie Shepard. Uh, that name sounds for me. Uh, Floyd Carmichael, Sterling Thompson, Tip Hudson, John Big Bigby, Henry Bingham, Bud Cotton, Warren Powell, Fulton County. Georgia. Uh, let me see if there's in there's a couple of other George Georgias that have a number of names on there. Again, 1936. Uh, Kanye talked about 400 years. It's a choice. Uh, when you when you're watching people being brutalized on the streets, you make a choice. Yeah, you make a choice. But you need to know what kind of choice you had to make you need to know what it, what it meant to have a family and to give birth and to wait in the hope of early county who ever heard of early county we know early county now because early county was lynching some people stay the hell up out of early county uh matt butts 1881 robert sap 1941 and i tell you guys and I talk to people all the time on Periscope. When I talk to them, they always want to know, where should I live in Atlanta? I said, listen, you better learn about these counties before you come south, okay? Because and Georgia is by design. I don't know about these other counties. I'm pretty sure because, hey, there's a lot of states and counties represented here. But um, Dodge County, look at the names, 1915, 1945, I was talking about. My mother was born in 45, um, 49, okay. So don't think, look, 19, I mean, you know, and, and our young people are listening to Kanye. Now, you watch every rapper now is going to talk about um, 400 years and this, that, and the other. You, you made a choice because you were terrorized. People were terrorized. I mean, you look at some of the stories. The stories are in there as to why they were lynched. Okay? Look at the stories when you come down. And I'm pretty sure there's a virtual tour online. If not, that should be coming. 1948. We're talking about our parents here, y'all. We're not talking about our ancestors. We're talking about our parents and our grandparents. 
Mm, Bibb County. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk 1943, Robert Hall. Ooh, and some of the names, George McKinney, some of the names are so familiar. And to think, they knew their names. They knew their names. These were families. Mm-mm. And injustice, atrocities, America, your soul is showing. Look at Polk County. Polk County can't get them all on there. They so look at that 1895 to 1921. And this, this again, this row, all from here, all the way back around to there is Georgia. The row behind that, Louisiana is over here. Florida is over here. Um, Mississippi, Texas, South Carolina, North Carolina, all of that. Florida, Arkansas, all of them are out here. And in case you want to get up close and personal, let me see if I can see some of those comments. That no, it's not that long ago. We talk about generations. Talk about gen. We're talking about generations. You guys are welcome. I'm glad to share. Glad to share. It's a beautiful memorial. Beautiful memorial. My hope is something like this will inspire more of us. Uh, to participate in Juneteenth celebrations. Cinco de Mayo is in a few days. You know, y'all gonna run out and get your margaritas and all that kind of stuff. And then Juneteenth will come and be come and go. You know, and and it's it's sad because and I know we look at the atrocities, but we gotta look at the survival. We gotta look at the survival. I mean, like I said, you, they, you are their greatest dream. You are their greatest dream. I'm just saying, you got it. We got to do better at this. Look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and look back that way and get another picture of that. Let me get in the center of this row here. I'm gonna grab me a photo there. Oh my goodness, I got some really good, really good photos. I did some 360s. I'm gonna actually jump off here, guys, so I can do another 360. There's other video. The video from when I went inside. There's a beautiful water insulation. You can hear the water from here. Uh, but walking through it, you first start out walking up and through. You then end up uh, de descending, going under them, and then you come out into this area. Again, I would not wait for the weekend. I would not wait for the holiday. I would come on a day like today uh, so that you can really take it in uh, and, and enjoy it and, and learn. It's, it's definitely a lesson. It's definitely something to learn. Again, there's many spots that you can stop and read and get information. You'll leave armed with information, armed with with the language that you need to understand and to process. And I think, I think one of the reasons, one of the hard reasons we don't process this stuff well is because we don't have somewhere and some place to really release, you know, and to know that what people went through is not just lost on the fact that, you know, so many of us, so many people want to hide the history. You are their their greatest dream. When somebody said it now, you know. You know who? All of these names. You are your survival. Your your survival is their greatest dream. Knowing that one day there will come a time and come a future where you can find a peaceful time in this world. Even though we still got a lot of crazy stuff going on. That even today you can find a peaceful a peaceful time was gonna come. Somebody knew it and they fought for it even by just the little things that they did. Some of these people lost their lives over some of the tiniest, most trivial things in this world. Just because somebody wanted a different hierarchy. All right, on that note, I'm gonna end up and go ahead and get you guys some more pictures. I'll be sharing, then I'll talk a little bit more about my experience. I definitely wanna hear about your experience. If you're gonna drive down with your family, if you live here, what is it like to pass by this? Um, and to know, I mean, again, you know, hey, Montgomery, you know, Montgomery put it on the map because it was one of the first places where the lens, um, where the injustice got its lens. All right. Y'all have a good day. Let me see if I guess I'll end up over here. All right, guys. Bye. Go now to DryerBuzz.com and follow at DryerBuzz on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You are a definitely a spiritually filled thinking woman, and that is what we've been lacking in our community. Go now to DryerBuzz.com and follow at DryerBuzz on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's all about the